Hello and welcome. My Little Blacksmith is a little, cute and beautiful game about making swords and hammers and selling them. And you're watching this video because you want to know how to download it or how to upgrade it. So let me just show you. Basically you just go to the website of My Little Blacksmith. You can find the link in the description of this video. Then you scroll down until you find the download section. And then you just press download now. And you can simply press no thanks, just take me to the downloads or donate a little money. But if you press no thanks, you can you get to this page. And here you can pick the 64 or 32 bit version of the Windows release. If you're lucky, you can also use Wine Bottler to play it on Mac or uh, Wine to play it on Linux. Anyways, I'm going to get the 64 bit version since that's what my system is running. And then the download starts. It's nearly 400 megabytes. Just wait for it to finish. Then this file should be in your downloads folder, which you can usually find on this quick access bar. And uh, usually on Windows, you should be able to just right click it and say extract all and then just press extract. However, if you don't have this feature, by the way, you should definitely extract, you should not double click it and play from there. That will just lead to problems. But again, if you don't have this extract feature, then um, you need to install or download a software that can extract it first. For that, I recommend 7-Zip. You can get 7-Zip for free. It's open source uh, from its website. The link is in the video description. Just press download, depending on which Windows version you have. This one is tiny, just one megabyte. Once the file is on your computer, just double click it. You will have to allow permission to install it and just press install. You can avoid restarting. Just press close. And now you should be able to right click 7-Zip extract to My Little Blacksmith. If this doesn't show up, then you might want to log out and log in into Windows again or restart the computer. And once you are in there, you can go into this extracted folder and open the shopsim.exe. Just run it. So if you run shopsim.exe and you get an error like Microsoft Visual C++ 2015 runtime missing, then all you have to do is go to this website, a link is in the description of this video, and go down here and press download. And then depending on the version of your Windows, you might want to download one or both of these. Just press next, and there you go. And then uh, you have to find these two files and just install them as well by double-clicking them and accepting and agree to the terms and pressing install, and so on and so on. In, case, in this case, I already have this, so I don't need to install it, but you might have to. And open the shopsim.exe. Just run it, and you get the game. If you want, you can full-screen it by pressing Alt-Enter, and then it stretches to the whole screen. And you can also change a lot of controls. If you go to press escape and then go to graphics, you can change the resolution, you can change the mode, you can lower the settings so you can play it on a low specs computer. Press accept and continue. And there you go. So if this helped, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to my channel for more tips and cool games in the future. And I hope you have fun making swords and stuff. Ciao!